Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Yvonne Dunn of Pints at Masons and we're at the International Fintech Conference 2017. Thanks very much for joining me. Thank you. What are the big issues around open banking at the moment? Well, I think open banking is a really broad term, Emily, and one of the interesting things, I suppose, is to try and define what we mean by it. And I think where the challenges lie in relation to open banking are the number of different areas that are playing into it. So one of the big issues is opening up data, and that's what we would commonly refer to as open banking. And that agenda is being driven by a number of different catalysts, and that's creating complexity. So I think probably two big issues are complexity and pace of change. And the complexity is being driven by the fact that you've got the Payment Services Directive, you've got the Competition and Markets Authority, all mandating rapid change all around opening up data. But in addition, because we're talking about data, we've also got the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, coming in. Now, all of those are generally pulling in the same direction, but there are just one or two little frictions there as you start to dig under it and get into the detail, and that's what creates the complexity. So when you couple that with the fact that there's a lot of complex change, but also massively rapid pace of change, everything has to be done by next year, and there are some interim deadlines that have to be met as well, it creates quite a complex environment. So what are the specific legal issues? Yeah, from a legal perspective, I guess the clue is in data because uh, this is all about data and uh, because it's all about data, it's all about GDPR, as I mentioned, and trying to get to a position where we know that consent to sharing of data is validly given, that everyone that wants to use data has the right to do so under GDPR, and, and couple that with the fact that there are, there's a lot of change happening in the data world at the moment, then there's a lot of legal issues to advise on. So data is a big part of this. There are also issues around liability, working out that when banks are engaging with new players, who's liable if it all goes wrong. There are issues around cybersecurity because customers are only going to embrace this new world of open banking if actually they know that their data is safe and there's been a lot of publicity around cyber incidents. So all of those are key legal issues we're advising on. And there's a couple of other things that are more traditional issues, things like advising our banking clients on their IT systems. This is going to put more strain on systems that already creak at times, as we know from press reports. And so banks are looking at their strategic IT procurement and deciding whether they need to scale up in order to meet this new challenge, perhaps look to the cloud as well. So there's a lot from a legal perspective to advise on. So where do you think the opportunities are coming out of open banking? Yeah, because it's not all just about threats. Um, there are opportunities here. And I guess one of the big opportunities is the, the consumer choice. The opportunity for consumers to embrace new products and services that might come out of the opening up of data. And that, to me, goes to collaboration. And it's all about the incumbent players and the fintechs working together to bring the best of each other to create interesting and innovative new products and services for customers. Yvonne, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.